The European Commission is opening the door to state aid in order to push the production of semiconductors on the continent. The idea is to face the unprecedented shortage of microchips that's delaying production in sectors like car making and smartphones. But Brussels says it will introduce strong protections to ensure that any benefits are shared widely and without discrimination across the EU. The treaty gives the flexibility uh, to prevent subsidy races, to make sure that aid is proportional and necessary, that there is a European approach um, and that uh, competition distortions uh, are minimised, while at the same time being able to be out there when there is a specific need. And, and looking at, at the global uh, uh, microprocessor uh, chips industry, uh, I think there is a specific need uh, also for production uh, large scale to be placed in Europe. The Commission is trying to strike a balance between member states. Countries like France and Germany want to allow serious state subsidies to boost national companies' competitiveness and face down Chinese competition. However, others like the Netherlands and Denmark oppose government funding in this field. As a beginning, is a good one. It is clear that we must uh, go towards uh, this direction to do, uh, to do more in different fields, to become really competitive and to have a real level playing field uh, in, the, in the relation between our industry and the industry of the rest of the world. But certainly the issue of having, regaining an autonomy on the microchip issues is uh, a very important, uh, important one. The European Commission also said it will extend temporary state aid to June next year, designed to support companies affected most by the pandemic. Christopher Pitches, Euronews, Brussels.